my name is Danny Stout, Senior Solutions Consultant with TIBCO. This is a brief overview of our TIBCO data science platform and the capabilities included for monitoring and alerting server. With TIBCO data science, we have the capability to monitor either parameters, physical characteristics, or model statistics utilizing our monitoring and alerting server dashboard. This dashboard has either red or green tiles for whenever a process or condition or physical characteristic is in spec or out of spec. What happens is after a process characteristic goes out of spec, it will alert and turn red. Once that dashboard tile turns red, a series of things happen. We get a great level detail about the individual item that has went out of spec. We can drill down and get information related to why we are getting an alert on the dashboard. We also have a greater high level view of all the process characteristics that we are monitoring as well. We get this in a color-coded dashboard, but you get a greater level of detail than just the overview of the monitoring alerting server dashboard. Further, we have the capability to drill down into the analysis and actually look at the underlying analysis that's driving the out of control condition, whether or not that is a quality control chart as you see here, or a boosted trees model where you're monitoring the residuals. The monitoring alerting server dashboard has integration across the entire TIBCO data science platform. So you can get automated reports, which you see in the middle. You can get these reports emailed to a distribution list based upon an alert condition, as you see in the top right hand corner. We can integrate with other platforms, including SharePoint that you see on the bottom right hand corner. And we also have an integrated platform within TIBCO Data Science that gives you a web view access uh, for looking at out of control conditions as well. Let's actually look at the platform and see how this looks. I'm looking at TIBCO Data Science Statistica's platform for enterprise capability. And whenever we look at the individual folders that make up the monitoring alerting server dashboard that we're going to look at, we can see the underlying items that make up that monitoring alerting server dashboard. The first thing that we do is we connect to the data sources that are going to be driving the data configurations that are going to uh, alert if anything goes out of spec. Now we can connect to any data source, anything that's OLA, DB, or ODBC compliant, flat files, and more. Once we connect to those data sources, we have to identify those characteristics or labels which are going to be driving the out of control condition. We can use any continuous or categorical data in order to drive these quality control charts. Once we've isolated the data that's going to drive our quality control charts or any other type of analysis, we actually create the quality control chart integrated into TIBCO Data Science. Very easy to right click, select new analysis configuration off the data, and create that analysis configuration or the analysis that's going to drive the monitoring alerting server dashboard. Once we've created the analysis, we need to tell the system how often we want that analysis to run. There are some processes that change on a sub-second basis, and there are some processes that change maybe daily or weekly. We want to adjust the system to monitor those processes in a way that's efficient. We create our task sets in order to drive the timing of those analyses. With these task sets, we can set up rules about what to happen whenever a process goes out of control, and we can also set that schedule to run at a time frame that meets our individual needs. After we align the data sources with analysis configurations, inside of task sets, we are now ready to set up our monitoring and alerting server dashboards. We do that by utilizing the integrated monitoring and alerting server dashboard functionality. We can embed dashboards as well so that we can do hierarchically nested dashboards. Once we do that, it's very easy to go into our thin client. Once we're in our thin client, we log in. In this case, I'm using my integrated 
uh, login from Windows authentication. I now go to Alarm Dashboard. I go to the dashboard that I've created, and you'll see that I do have hierarchically nested dashboards. I'm monitoring two cities in Europe, two buildings in each city, and within each building, you'll see that I'm monitoring a variety of different parameters. Now what's going to happen is, after I select which, what parameter run, I can either do that on demand by clicking on the gold cog icon, or if I've set it on a time schedule, it will run at that time schedule. As I set these analyses to run, under the hood, it's running that analysis or quality control chart that's going to drive an out of control condition. In this case, the out of control condition has alerted. I can now look at a greater level detail as to why that sample went out of control. In this case, I'm actually monitoring a physical parameter, which is diameter. It has exceeded those specifications I've identified as normal operating conditions. I can also look at the individual analysis that's driving this and I'll be able to see the quality control chart in this instance or the uh, other type of model that we're going to be utilizing elsewhere. You'll see that we can also log causes and actions, which will help with root cause analysis and predictive maintenance and predictive uh, modeling in the future. This is TIBCO Data Science Monitoring Alerting Server. Thank you.